Hey, how's it going? Happy Monday. Happy post Super Bowl day. I don't know if people are going to be happy or sad or what's happening, but <laughs> um, I know our home was, um, in regards to who, was, who won, they were pretty happy. In regards to the money that was lost, they were pretty sad. <laughs> Um, so anyways, um, as you guys are tuning in, uh, let me know where you're tuning in from. Say hello. I'm like all bundled up in my house. It's absolutely freezing here in Chicago. I think it's like negative three out today, you guys. Like seriously, why do I live here? I ask myself this all the time. <laughs> why do I live in Chicago? Um, okay. I can't see comments. So I don't know. Let me see this like. Somebody write something. Um, okay, there we go. All right, hey, Joanne from Massachusetts. How are you? What's up, Amy? How are you doing? Hey, I have that same border on my personal profile picture. Um, what's up, Julie? Um, oh, my, negative 15 in Toronto. Okay, you won. I have nothing to complain about with negative three. <laughs> hey, what's up, Amanda? Who was before Amanda? What's up? Oh, Christine, how are you, girl? Uh, Leda, I hope I'm saying that right. Leda, Leda, because it's a great city. Yes. You know, that's the thing I say all the time to my husband, like, why do we live in Chicago? Like born and raised here. I'm over it. I want to go somewhere where there's palm trees and sunshine and it's warm. And yet I love the shopping. I love the food. I love, um, I love our city. We do have a great city. I have to say, um, okay. So yep. As you're Tuning in, if you're on the replay, right? hashtag replay. And if you're new to who I am, Julie Burke, I want you to drop new in the comments so I can personally say hello. Let me know where you're tuning in from. Um, real quick, I'll just tell you, I, um, I'm the founder of createsuccesswithjulie.com. Thanks for all the hearts, whoever gave me hearts. I'm the founder of createsuccesswithjulie.com. And what I really speciali specialize, is, specialize in is helping um, entrepreneurs, whether you're a network marketer, a coach, an affiliate marketer, really just bring their business and their brand online and in turn help them to generate more leads and then in turn also help them to generate more sales um, or gain more team members. Um, attraction marketing at its finest, you guys. That is really what I specialize in, in, in teaching others what that means and how uh, you can gain a really profitable business by doing that. And so um, thank you for the hearts, guys. Yes, Amanda lives in Chi-Town too. Girl, we have to get together. Um, we should connect sometime soon. Okay, so also... We're going to be talking about the one thing that I feel can be shooting yourself in the foot in regards to, um, I'm talking about network marketing today, okay? But um, so recently, um, I had some team members um, really kind of thinking outside the box and how to meet other prospects and how to do it in a way, because what what happens in my company is what we teach is attraction marketing through my whole company. And we teach how to brand it in my company. Like most network marketing companies, you guys, they are not teaching this. That's why I started my own training company a year and a half ago and my own mentorship and my own coaching business. Like literally that's a whole separate income stream. Um, I have been sold out of my coaching for the last year. It's awesome. I actually just finished up um, a VIP day with a client, which was awesome because she just gained some major clarity. It's like one of the things I rock in and I specialize in is helping people get really, really clear um, so they can propel forward. And so anyways, um, we teach attraction marketing and how to brand you. We do not teach our team how to brand our company. Like that just does not make sense because all you're doing is you're pushing, you're, you're pushing prospects away. <laughs> I am sorry, but you are. They don't want to see you drinking a shake every single day. They don't want to see you posting how great your product is every single day. And they definitely do not, do not want you spamming links every single day. I actually had a woman reach out to me this week and I was so annoyed. Okay, let's take some notes here, what not to do. I was so annoyed because it was the most 
impersonalized message, but at the end of it, she said how much she loved me. And I'm like, how are you saying this to people? I've never even spoken to you in my life. You guys, why are people doing this? Okay, so now I just went off on the tangent. I'm going to rein it back in. Julie, rein it back in. Okay, so my team members have been thinking outside of the box and doing um, meeting prospects in in certain um, groups, but it's not to the point of where they're like, hey, I have this thing, and these people are reaching out. It's it's literally like on um, a passive, it's like a passive way of dropping in. So let me give you an example. Um, I have um, somebody on my team, and she's a mom, and she's in some, I don't know, shopping from uh, Kristen, I think it was. I don't even know. Some like shopping group that there's a bunch of other moms and women in. And so she posted in there and took a selfie and these finds that she finds these <laughs> clothes. And anyways, there's a bunch of women in there. She took a picture and she, she's like, I'm, I love this group and I love these finds and I love these clothes. And I especially love now something like how she was able to drop some weight Um, and then she just breezes right past that. Well, of course she had a ton of women asking her how she lost weight. Like it was just a passive breeze. Um, another one did, um, somebody in another group was looking for, um, um, like a work from home opportunity. So they were asking. So instead of my team members, our team members pouncing on them, they basically just said how they're building a business from their phone. If they want to learn more, feel free to reach out to them, my team member. So they didn't even private message them. It was like, hey, if you want to learn how to do this, cool, reach out. It's so passive and so subtle that, of course, they want to know. She had like 15 women that wanted to know. Now, here's where it gets good. So I had two of my team members come to me this week and ask me, okay, so how would you respond, Julie? And I said, all right, so... Here's the beauty of it because we use Facebook's messenger for everything that we do. We don't do three-way calls. So I don't need to jump on the phone. We don't need to send links. Like that's just not how we roll. Um, we do messenger. And I said, now, instead of going back through messenger, now that they want the information, don't send them the information. You guys, this is where it's key. Okay. So I hope you are really hearing me on this. Do not send them a link. Do not even talk about our company. What I want you to do is I want you to respond and say, hey, Sue, use the audio so they can hear your voice. Hey, what's up, Robin? How are you, hon? Super excited. And you know what I mean by that, but I'm very, very excited here. Um, This is what I mean. So Sue wants to know about what you're doing. What do you respond? You don't respond about the company. You don't respond with a link. You respond and say, hey, Sue, I actually, I'm, I'm super excited you reach out to me. I'm so happy to share more with you. However, I really want to learn more about you and why are you looking for a home-based opportunity? What is it that's appealing to you? What is it that you've maybe done in the past? And just get Sue to start talking and then direct the conversation. So you know what you're doing at that very, very moment? You're listening to the pain in Sue's life by asking questions. Hear me on this again. Great recruiters ask great questions, okay? You're not necessarily recruit just to recruit. So let me just say you will shoot yourself in the foot if you overwhelm or overtalk it with a prospect. You want to instead listen. So... I will tell you right now, 99% of the other network marketers are probably not doing this because they are like, who wants to know more about what I'm doing? Oh my gosh, yes. So I'm now going to hammer Sue with details and links all about my amazing, fabulous company and all about my amazing, fabulous compensation plan. You guys, no. Absolutely drop the mic, no. If you guys are loving this, you better start sharing this with your teams because I'm going to tell you right now, tag them into the comment section, share this video because I'm telling you, people are doing this wrong. They are doing this wrong. You might not even get to a link with Sue. You might not even go that route. 
Who knows? You might not even like Sue. Sue might end up being the biggest freaking Debbie Downer that you're like on that audio and you're like listening to Sue and you're like, holy crap, I want to run from Sue. I want to run like hell. So do you guys see what I'm saying? Please don't do it. I want you to have the conversation with them to even see if they're the avatar of the person, their, your ideal teammate. Interview them interview suit. So I want you to turn and shift your mindset to becoming an investigator, to becoming like this person that interviews your prospect. Do you understand? You have to change your posture and understand that you have the gold. So let me tell you something else. I got this awesome message today by one of my teammates out in Australia. I talk about a go-getter. This girl is a freaking like took the reins. She's in Australia. I'm in Chicago. Um, things are different in Australia and my company than they are in the U S and she literally started calling corporate every single day to start learning our company. I mean, this woman's amazing. She messaged me today and she's like, I have to share this big win that I learned from you. And thank you so much. And went on to tell me like how she really listened. She, she acknowledges that she's an over talker. And um, basically said the win is that the prospect said, I wrote it down, the prospect said to her, my team member, that what she did is she absolutely spoke to her in the way exactly of what she was feeling. So of course, because she listened and she asked questions, that she was able to utilize that and to return, talk it back into her, into this possible, you know, this prospect or possible future team member of what is your life going to be like if you stay here? What is your life going to be like if you continue to struggle or you stay in this pain or if you don't over, or overcome it or, you know, whatever it is. I mean, that's what the beauty of asking questions is all about, right? Is so then you know how to respond. You guys, is that like helpful? Because this is something I have learned. People are like, how did you grow a network marketing business so quickly? First year of my network, of being in network marketing, never heard of network marketing. Um, at that time, I didn't know Eric Worre, who Eric Worre was. I didn't know Jim Rohn. I didn't know all these people. What I knew is I knew and I learned how to become an effective recruiter and how like we don't sell. Like we should never sell like in terms of you, you sell to serve. You don't sell just to sell to make a quick buck. Like that's not what you sell for. And I learned to appreciate and learn the art of sales and doing it the right way, which is relationship building. And how do you build relationships? You build relationships by listening to people. So I went to six figures and then multiple six figures to 22 months. And then last year I was going to hit millionaire and I walked away. I walked away from my company to start over again with my new company in June. And I've never looked back and I've never been happier. But it's the way I want to build because I want to build online. And I'm building with people that I love and appreciate. And so why? Because I attracted them to me, right? It's all about attracting the right person and qualifying them to even be part of it. Do you understand? So have that shift and make that shift because like I said, you don't want to end up with a Debbie Downer. You don't want to shoot yourself in the foot if you're over talking your prospects because then you can't listen, listen to who they truly are and what they really need and if you could even help them to begin with. Whether you're going the product route or customer acquisition or you're going the business route with team members, you guys. Okay. And so the reason I'm working with such amazing rock stars is because they are the vision of the people I've dreamt about having as a team and building with a team, not to spread it in my old team. It's just, I'm building with the team, but now the way that we want to build, which is, which is through attraction marketing, through branding, through online. And it's what my company teaches where my last company they didn't want that. Okay. So again, hear me on this. What is the value drop right now? What is your takeaway from this live? Tell me right now. I want to, thanks for the hearts. I should probably stop and see who's on here. Allison, I love you too, lady. Thank you. Thank you. Um, 
Okay, what is your takeaway on this? Because I'm going to tell you, right here is powerful. Right here, because it's working. That, that's why it's powerful, because it's working, right? You just heard what one of my team members said, is how valuable what she's learned about not talking too much and listening more and asking the right questions to see if it's even the right fit. And it was. And the woman said to her, you just spoke right to me. Not through her, to her. Okay? So many times we're out there and we are like super excited that someone even says, yeah, sure, I'll check it out. Like, let's control those emotions because we don't know where that's going to even lead. And so I learned very early on to have that posture, right? And to carry that posture throughout and to lead the conversation throughout, to lead it right to the enrollment. And how do you do that? By asking questions and listening more and deciding, you deciding if they're a right fit or not. You make the decision, you guys, okay? So the takeaways are building relationships, really connecting, asking questions, listening, finding out how you can connect and help them, and don't, yes, don't word vomit, yeah. Ask questions, qualify, and listen, yes, awesome. So you guys are listening to me, which is super cool, okay? So you, I hope that you guys found value in that. I had to share this with you because um, because of that, right? And eventually it can lead to the link because then someone will say, well, we'll, we'll ha- continue on that conversation. So let me continue it real quick, give you guys an example. So let's say Sue is awesome. She comes back and she's like, you know what, Julie? I just, I'm a stay-at-home mom and I really just want to create something for my family. Um, I love raising my kids, but I just want to be able to do something from home and um, be able to contribute to the family because my husband works so hard. Awesome. So Sue, let me ask you a question. If you could provide for your family like that, what would it allow your husband to do? Would it allow him to work less? Would it allow for more family time, some travel? Let me know if what I have for you, I want to make sure that what I have for you is right before I just send you a link or before I just add you to this group and have you watch a video. So Sue, really tell me what would that do for you and your family? So Sue would come back and say, oh, yeah, so he would definitely be able to maybe shave five hours off of his work week or 10 hours off his work week. Or, yeah, I mean, I would love to have him work less so we could take the kids to Disney or we could just go away for a weekend because maybe her husband works on weekend hours. You know, what did it? The thing is, we don't know somebody's backstory unless we ask. Right. Like you don't know what somebody's story is. And so if you're just spamming them a link, even though we asked, they asked for, to, for more information, you're going right for the kill. Instead of stopping and getting to know why in the first place is freaking Sue looking for a home-based business and, and to do something. You guys, does that make sense? I, I'm really hoping that you guys are hearing me because I feel like in this profession, that this is where people just seriously drop the ball and shoot themselves in the foot, okay? So after that moment, when she comes back to you again, and again, this is all through Messenger, through the audio, so you could talk to Sue, Sue could hear your voice and you're a real person and you care. Guess what happens? Sue is now attached to you. That's it. So, of course, she's going to want to know how possibly, okay, like at this point, she's like, okay, so how can you help me? What do you have? And then you go back and you say, okay, so this is really cool because I had to make sure of what I had was right for you and for me if you were going to join my team. Okay? So then you would move Sue into whatever appropriate system that you have for your business. You guys, that's it. That's it. You got to start qualifying, qualifying, sift, sift, sort, and qualify. And don't just go for the absolute kill because, like I said, you don't even know if you, I mean, start appreciating yourself too as an entrepreneur. Who says that Sue is right for your team? Who says that Sue is right for your leadership? Who says Sue is right for your company or your opportunity? So start interviewing, okay? You guys, I hope you found value in this. If you did, please share it because I really feel that people need this message and want this message. Um, 
If you have any questions for me, you guys, please just drop the comment below. You guys all know I'm very active in my fan page community. If you haven't liked my page yet, make sure you go and like it so I also can, um, you could get updates on when I go live. Thanks for all the hearts, you guys. I really, really appreciate it. Um, if you are new to me, if you want to go to createsuccesswithjulie.com, under my featured product section, I have free resources. Um, feel free, grab one, grab all of them, whatever you want. I, I have about four or five there. Um, oh, now my puppy's trying to get in to the office. I wish she was here. Come here, Lola. Come here. Let me get her. You guys can say hi. Oh, is she not adorable? Like, seriously, I need her in every broadcast, you guys. I'd probably get way more love. <laughs> Let's show Lola some hearts. <laughs> oh, you guys, she's so cute. She's 10 weeks. I absolutely love this adorable. Yes, yes. Okay, you don't want to hear me baby talking with her. <laughs> so anyways, all right, guys, I'm going to cut it there. I'll see you all real, real soon. Bye for now.